We have a family who's going to be sharing with us their birth vlog, which you are about to watch in just a few seconds. The reason why I'm sharing this birth vlog with you guys is because it truly exemplifies how to distract yourself during labor. And the reason why that's important is because it can promote a faster labor, a calmer labor, and a funner labor, guys. Alrighty guys, if you're new to this channel, click that red juicy button down below, down below. It says subscribe, it says subscribe. Let's get into the birth vlog. Hey guys, so it is 1.50 and I am just updating you guys on what's been happening with our day. So we finished eating our ice cream, we came home, hung out a little bit, and right around 1.15 I went to the bathroom and when I wiped I had lost my mucus plug and a little bit of like bloody show, which is a good sign. Uh, Eden, with her, I, I had the same thing happen about midnight, almost 1am, and I had her at 9pm the next that same evening of that day. So. If this birth goes anything like Eden's, we should be having a baby within the next 24 hours. Um, hopefully sooner, because usually second births go quicker. Um, but also, mucus plugs can regenerate, so it could also be another week before we have this baby. But I've still been having steady contractions. I've been working through them on my birth ball, but right now we are going to the flea market to look at some sofa chairs and see if we can find some more furniture that we need for our space. And... Yeah, we'll keep updating you guys as our day goes on. I'm not looking forward to these car expansion waves or contractions because they suck, but we're gonna do good and we're gonna get there and we're gonna get lots of stuff done. We got home from the store. I took a nap and I think it was about an hour long nap. My contractions woke me up a couple times throughout the nap, but I was able to get a good amount of rest. And then when I woke up, things started to get a little bit even more intense. Um, and right now, I'm getting an expansion. getting them about every three-ish minutes and they're lasting about a minute to almost two minutes depending on the expansion wave and they're very intense as you can tell I'm having to breathe through them make a little bit of noise through them uh, and we're gonna say a prayer just to kind of get ourselves in the right spiritual mindset and then we're gonna have a baby the midwives are about two hours away so hopefully they get here in time I think. No, I feel pukey. <laughs> Other than that? <laughs> but that's that's all under the umbrella of good when you're in labor. <laughs> I feel pukey and tired. If that's, that's the worst case, case, right? Mm -hmm. It could be a lot worse. Anything else you want to add? Oh, 
Contractions. The Ready Scott's Go family did is they went to go get ice cream. That was something that was fun for them. It might be different for you, but whatever it is, don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid. Uh huh. Don't be afraid. Uh huh. I want you guys to brainstorm. Go into your notes right now. Go into your notes and I want you to write down three things. Even if you're not pregnant right now, even if it's for your future baby. Think of three things that you enjoy doing in your home or around your home. And I want you to do one of those things while you are giving birth. Key three. Key, key, key three. Key three. Key, key, key three. Me giving you 10 different things that you can do or your partner can do to distract 
you from your contractions during labor. To eat, That's watching a movie, music. You can also play a game. The next thing is writing a letter. You write a letter to your baby in your tummy. Another thing is sleep. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not done though. I'm not done. Cooking. The next one that I'm about to say is something that I've heard a lot of women said was so therapeutic. It's going into the shower. You can go to the shower and two hours can go by and it feels like five minutes. The last thing is similar to going into the shower, but that's going into the tub. So that is one of the keys there, guys, for how to distract yourself during labor, to promote a faster labor, to burn some time, to distract yourself to distract yourself so you want to have the home birth of your dreams there's something in you that's telling you that you can do this that you are capable that you are strong and having a home birth is going to be a less invasive beautiful experience for you but you're still on the fence you don't know what to do you don't know how to take the first step my home birth course is how to allow yourself to do it. Click the link in the description or go to valubu.com. That's V-A-L-U-B-U.com. If you're new to this channel, click that red juicy button down below, down below. It says subscribe, it says subscribe. For more birth content videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.